Hi, welcome to Growing Dreams Homestead. I'm Dana, and today I am down here with my celery that I need to get harvested so I can get it prepared uh, to put up for winter. So today is Monday, November 13th, and it is a pretty day. It's like 60 degrees, and I figured it is time to get this celery out of here. So this was planted last spring. I seeded it pretty thickly. It's in a raised bed. Um, next to our air conditioner unit that drips condensation directly in this bed. I watered it a little bit when I first planted, but since then it's just kind of been on its own. Um, yeah, so I will harvest this and then I will cut it, uh, chop it up and freeze it. The tops I will dehydrate and then grind up to make a nice powder that can go in soups and things like that. So this is Utah tall celery and this is my third year growing it and being successful. I'd never been successful before until I put it in a raised bed that has constant water. So um, there's some smaller ones. Um, there's also some big stalks like that's pretty nice. So these will be great to go in soups with carrots and onions, make a really nice broth this winter. I love the smell of celery. It smells so good over here. So, yeah, it's gonna be harvesting. <laughs> This celery, it's probably one of the biggest ones, has been in here all summer and it has been through quite a few frosts and freezes and it is doing great. You, it doesn't even have much damage on it at all. Um, you can't leave it in here like through the winter. It's not one of those types of cold crops, um, but you can let it have a few frosts and it'll be okay. Um, I especially, you know, I have like a microclimate up here because it's next to the foundation so it stays a little bit warmer and um, the only thing that's kind of bad about celery for me is that I can't get it to seed stage um, here in Indiana our growing season just isn't long enough and it kills it completely through the winter so I have to buy seed every year but that's okay I like celery so I'll keep growing it this way so I got all my celery picked and I have it here in a tub and my bed is about three by three and I got all of the celery. So check out that tub. That is a lot of celery in there and that will go in a lot of soups this winter. So I did a video back in the spring called planting celery the easy way if you want to check that out. But look at this, like it's huge. It did great. The, the stalks aren't like real big, but it'll make great soup and that's all that really matters. Well, thank you for hanging out with me today while I harvested some celery. Hopefully it will inspire you to try to grow some even if you not had luck in the past. Every year is different and if you try new things, sometimes you find stuff that works. Um, I know I did, so really happy with this harvest. I'm going to get it inside and get it all chopped up and ready to go in the freezer and get these leaves dehydrated. Have a good one. Bye.